The big news of the weekend, East Lake athlete George Campbell making things official on Friday, committing to Florida State. Campbell ranked as the number four player in our BHSM Top 20, announced his decision on ESPN.com. A one-time Michigan commit, Campbell intends to enroll in January. And we're joined by the newest Seminole, George Campbell, via satellite from East Lake High School. George, thanks for coming on Recruiting Central today. Congrats on becoming a Knoll. I know it was a tight, tight race for you, George, but what really was the deciding factor in you picking FSU? I mean, choosing FSU was a tough decision, but at the same time, just talking to my parents and my, my coach and, and just pretty much evaluating everything for the best of me, I think it was a, a good option. You committed to Michigan last summer, then you decommitted. Many had the Florida Gators penciled in as the team to beat. When do you think things kind of took a turn toward the Knowles for you and your recruitment? Well, I mean, early in the stage, uh, just when I went up for a couple visits and just filling it out and, and being around everybody and the players and the coaching staff and just realizing that it was probably the right spot for me. Lawrence Dossey, I know uh, you have a great relationship with him. How big was he of an impact in your decision to go to FSU? Coach Dossey, I mean, it's a big impact, but at the same time, I can't always base it off the coaching staff. But Coach Dossey, really, he really recruited me well and, and pretty much was there for me when I needed him, and he was just somebody to talk to. So what other factors outside of Coach Dossey then led you to the Knowles? I mean, not only, I mean, it's close to my family, but uh, not just that. I'll be able to hopefully have an impact as soon as I step on the field and, and pretty much just try to make a name for myself. I know you were able to call Jimbo Fisher after your decision. What did, what did he tell you when you committed? Oh, Coach Fisher, is he real happy? Um, pretty much he's just ready for me to get up and, and just get up and compete and, and work my butt off. You talk about work your butt off. You're going to have some competition, man. It seems like FSU's luring receivers daily almost. I mean, we, we, we'll get into that a little bit later today about the talent they're getting. But what's your take on all these top guys that FSU's getting into your position? I mean, it's, it's good, uh, not just only because I get to compete, but I also get to play with some of the best players on the football field. And, and just being around them is pretty good. I mean, it's just a humbling experience to be around all those, all those good athletes and just playing with them at the same time. I know you tweeted a picture with you and Auden Tate. You excited to go up there and uh, put on for the city of Tampa? Yes, sir. We definitely are. <laughs> uh, George, you decommitted from Michigan. Is this your final decision? Are you going to become a null on the first Wednesday in February? Yes, I am. <laughs> Any other guys you hope join you from this area? Right now, we're trying to get Ryan Davis. We'll <laughs> see what happens with that. <laughs> well, hopefully, George, you can lure some of the talent there, man. We really appreciate you coming on Recruiting Central. Congratulations on becoming it. a no, buddy. All right, good to hear from Campbell, Josh Newberg, Preston Jackson, back here with me. I'll start with you, Josh. You cover the Knowles Daily on Knowles247.com. How did this all come to fruition with Campbell and Florida State? It's actually been a really interesting recruitment because you had a kid who visited Florida State his freshman year. Him and Artavis Scott went up and camped. He did not visit FSU for another two years. It was all Florida. It looked like the Gators were going to get him, which is a big need for them, a playmaking wide receiver. However, it's always about the visits. You've got to follow the visits. George Campbell took two trips to FSU in 2014. He took one for Junior Day in March, and then the, the one that really sealed it was in July. And the other turning point in his recruitment was Joker Phillips leaving Florida. When he abruptly resigned in June, that was the main connection between Florida and George. And it just opened the door for Florida State, and the rich get richer. After signing two five-star wide receivers last year, they had another superstar in George Campbell. And you mentioned those two five-star wide receivers. We'll show you just how rich the rich are in Florida State. Preston, I want to break down with you Campbell as a football player. I mean, this is a guy who's dynamic all over mm -hmm. the field. We'll pull up some of his film here and show you. What do you like specifically in his game that makes him such an elite athlete? Well, I've always been an advocate of George Campbell playing a slot receiver because he can do so much in the slot. He's not the best jump ball prospect that they're going to get in this 2015 class. Guys that can run the sideline and run the rail. But what George Campbell is good at is he's good in space. And you see on that play, he accelerates and his speed is awesome. Okay, but what they're going to need to do is bring, bring George as a slot receiver so he can be off the ball. So he doesn't have to play a lot, a lot against a lot of the press coverage. Him versus the smaller, the smaller corners they're going to bring in as the nickels against the larger safeties and the larger linebackers is going to be a big problem. And those can use him very wisely at different positions in the offense, especially with the nose of three wide receiver, four wide receiver sets. George Campbell can be a very good asset 
on side of the Martin Lanes and the uh, the Javon Harrisons and the other guys are going to bring in that are going to be very big receivers and sideline guys. And you started to mention some of those guys, Preston. Let's just show you how rich the rich are in, at Florida State. They signed an unbelievable class last year, two five-star guys. When you talk about Ermon Lane and, and Travis Rudolph, they also got Harrison, of course, out of Kathleen. Mm -hmm. But look, you got Campbell, Nyquan Murray, and Auden Tate. If all those guys sign, Man, will it be a very, very talented class for Florida State. Now, we heard from Campbell. Now, here's Murray. He told artist Vina Barton that he certainly feels confident about his decision to join the Knolls. I had a lot of more offers on the table, including South Carolina, the SEC school, um, a lot of other schools. But when um, FSU offered me, I felt like that was the best de decision because they're a great passing school. They're, they're up on the rise and they have a great head coach and everyone's touched, everyone touched the ball. Well, everyone touches the ball, but there's only one football to go around, Josh. How do they make all this work? Will we eventually see George Campbell and Auden Tate and maybe even Nyquan on the field early as freshmen, or is it just log jammed at receiver? I think you're absolutely going to see these guys play early. Florida State is not in the business of redshirt and receivers. They get them in, they get them out, and they throw them the football. On Saturday, for example, against the Citadel, 10 different receivers caught a pass. 10 different receivers. So there is, the ball is going to be thrown around. There's going to be catches for everybody. And I think what's going to happen is the cream of the crop will rise to the top. You don't bring five-star recruits in, sit them on the bench. You just don't do them. They're five-star recruits because they're supposed to have an immediate impact as true freshmen. So that's, that's what you get in the guys that they're bringing in. And George Campbell, him being a five-star at one point, being a high four-star prospect, they're going to want to get him on the field. And being with those high-profile schools, they want to get him in and get him out. They're not there to have kids there for four or five red shirt fifth year. They want to get him in and get him out.